Good morning. For all you seniors out there, this is your last Thursday and the last time you'll see WCTV. It's also the last show for the seniors at WCTV. For this grand finale, we thought we'd throw something special together for you. Some of us thought this day would never come. But it's here, and to help show us where we've been, we go to Lindsay. So here's our salute to the senior class of 2000. No more pencils, no more books, no more teachers, dirty looks. It's graduation time and you are free. Some of us will go, some of us will stay. And no matter who you are or what you do, you're still going to have something in common with 127 other people your senior year. What will you remember? Some students might say favorite teacher or class. Some might even say something funny that happened to them. Or it could be just the opposite. It could be the worst class moment ever. My favorite class in high school would be pop fiction to watch movies. I'm going to talk about an embarrassing moment. Mine was New York City, too. I had all these visions of picking up chicks while I was there. Well, uh, first night there, I uh, broke my tooth. Uh, the bottom half's fake anyways because of wrestling, but the enamel that's put on there broke off, so uh, <laughs> my uh, chick picking up was uh, put to a hold because I was snaggled tooth the rest of the trip, and uh, it was good times. Maybe you don't remember your classes. Maybe you just remember that after-school job that you had. Slaving away for that new car or the accessory to your wardrobe. Or maybe you could just been in responsible and saved money. Well, like it or not, some people work and some people don't. And some people actually say it's good for us, that we should know it so we can join this real world. I think that uh, teenagers that choose to work and go to school at the same time is fine. I think it really gives them a lot of real world experiences, but I think they have to be very careful not to discipline themselves within their time schedules with, with working so that they realize that school and academics should come first before uh, making money. All right. I don't have a job because if you don't have to, why bother? Some of us were involved with the school's clubs and sports. Maybe you're a football, basketball, soccer player, or a wrestler. Or did you run in track? There were some of us who came to cheer on our fellow teammates, or cheerleaders themselves, but also the not-so-traditional bro and rowdy organization. If you were not so sports-orientated, there was other clubs to participate in, such as French, Spanish, and art. I guess my biggest memory of football is like always the lead up to the games cause nothing there's not a greater feeling in the world than walking out onto the field on game day just looking at everyone in the stands and like when the lights are on at night at halftime walking back out to it oh it's just a great feeling um, we represent the rowdies rowdy chicks especially we out cheer the boys at all the sporting events I represent the rowdies who are the loudest and most rowdiest people at the sporting events and we go there to cheer on the links Except for the rowdy chicks. We're moving on to a whole new frontier of our lives. Some of us are hyped, some of us are scared, and some are indifferent. Or maybe you're just somewhere in the middle. No matter who you are or what your social status is, we'll always carry some special memory with us. Okay, my best memory of high school is being with my friends and having fun. Um, my biggest memory about high school is when I was in French class and JR would wear like 10 shirts, like two sweaters and he would lay down to go to sleep and I could still see all of his ribs poking out. Okay, my most uh, disappointing thing in my high school career is probably when I, my doctor told me that I wasn't allowed to be on the football team any longer for my senior season because he said that if I got another concussion then I would die. And it wasn't like you might die, he was saying that I would probably die. As you prepare to leave your high school days this spring, remember that no matter who you are or how far away you are, just remember that you'll always be welcome back in the years to come. Some people don't want to go, and some can't wait to leave. Some people are already out the door. Look around, teachers. Count them up. So from all the seniors in the studio, here's our own special goodbye. <laughs>